Hey guys, it's Rosie or Top of Bricks here with another video. Before I get into this one, I just want to let you guys know I've been ill the last few days, so that's why there's been a four day gap between this and the last video, so I hope you guys forgive me ever so slightly, but in today's video we're going to be going through the top five worst LEGO Harry Potter sets of all time. The sets that make this list are there for a multitude of different reasons. I'm also going to be taking into consideration the time period they were released in. If a set was released in recent years, then I would expect a higher standard than sets released 20 years ago, for example. So that's why there are a couple modern sets on this list as well. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So at number 5 we have set number 4728 with Escape from Privet Drive. This set was released back in 2002 and came with 278 pieces and 3 minifigures for a retail price of £25 or $30. I've put this set at number 5 due to it looking just nothing like 4 Privet Drive. Everything from the shape of the building to the colour of the building is all wrong. I also just find it very lacklustre with nothing really much going on. It seems even though this set is from 2002, I think most people would have a real shot at putting together a more accurate four private drive set. The only thing I really found relatively accurate about this set is the Ford Anglia. At number 4 we have set number 40495 and it's Harry, Hermione, Ron and Hagrid as a brick headset. This is a very recent addition to the LEGO Harry Potter wave coming out in June 2021. I have put this set on this list for multiple reasons. Firstly, I have a grab of this set being a thing at all. We have already gotten all four of these characters within the last 2-3 to three years as brick heads, so it seems like a waste to remake them all again. We could have gotten so many other cool characters instead. I would have loved to see an Umbridge and McGonagall brick head set for example. But the main problem I have with this set is actually the way it was made, as Harry, Ron and Hermione in this set are all miniature versions of the standard sized Brickhead. I understand that's to put them into scale with Hagrid, but it's just a design feature that I wouldn't have gone with when making this set. And also, what the hell is going on with Harry's glasses? They look really creepy and I don't know what Lego were thinking with this one. So going on to number 3 we have set number 4723, Diagon Alley Shops. This set was released back in 2001 and it retailed for just £9 or $10, but it only came with one minifigure. So this set is in at number 3 because it looks so out of left field compared to most of the other LEGO Harry Potter sets, I struggled to see where this would fit into any sort of collection. Everything from the way the building is constructed to the colours and pieces used are just off to me. This set gives us two small minty green base plates on which we have what is supposed to be parts of a shop built on each other, but I don't see it. I think this set would have been a good pickup to get some unusual and rare pieces in different funky colours, but that's about the only reason I'd buy this set. At number 2 we have another modern set, being set number 76387, Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter. I have already done an in-depth review on this set on why I think this is one of the worst LEGO Harry Potter sets ever made, I'll leave a link for that in the description below. But for a brief summary, I really have a gripe on how we can't accurately display this set as a standalone. There's two configurations we are encouraged to try from LEGO. The first configuration leaves us no place to put the roof piece, which is meant to be a classroom, I'll let you be the judge of that. Then the second configuration puts Devil's Snare to the side instead of below the trap door, which just looks silly to me. I also don't like the look of Fluffy or Devil's Snare in the set, and also the two-tone harp. I do expect a better standard from LEGO when it comes to sets made as late as 2021, and that's why it finds itself at number 2 on this list. And finally, for the worst LEGO Harry Potter set of all time in my opinion, that's going to be set number 4720, Nocturne Alley. This set was released back in 2003 and retailed for £20 or $20 for 209 pieces and 2 minifigures. Now, the reason this claims a number 1 spot is mainly due to how massively inaccurate this set is. It looks like it was put together with no real care. I mean, just look at the roof pieces. The entire building just doesn't look like anything from Harry Potter and even the interior is just all over the place. When you compare this set to the Borgen and Burks we got 8 years later in 2011, the difference is just night and day and that's why whilst keeping into consideration the time period this was made in. I really just feel that LEGO dropped the ball when designing this specific set unfortunately. And that about wraps up this list of the worst LEGO Harry Potter sets of all time. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. If you think other sets should have made this list in replacement of others, do let me know down in the comments below. I've been Rosie with Top of Bricks, see you next time.